cook coming to you from or else the no nothing kitchen today we're gonna try when we were kids ma used to make my mother used to make um like a tomato sauce with peas and a hot pepper and diced onions in it I guess we used to call it um you know, depression food De depression food depression food <coughs> anyways of depression is so old we're just gonna call this a twist on beans and franks I remember being in the army or we would go camping you take a can of uh, pork and beans and chop up some hot dogs and put them over the fire and cook them so that's what we're gonna do we have a few uh, ballpark franks about two or three um, I'm gonna chop them up I'm gonna put them in I'm gonna fry them up on the stove get them brown I like them browned up and then we have a clove of garlic, one small onion diced, the garlic will be diced. We're going to use here a Sorrento pepper, um, one or two, we'll see what it looks like, but we're going to start off with one, see what it looks like. Um, I'll saute, or I'll, I'll brown the hot dogs, chop them up, brown them, take them out the heat, and then I'll saute the onion and garlic. And a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin that is. And then <coughs> I will throw the sauce into it. I'll chop these up. I'll put the hot dogs back in with the sauce. Let them cook for, I don't know, maybe about an hour or something to get it going. And then, excuse me. Petite peas. A delicious little meal it's gonna be sauce and peas and onion and garlic and all that a little bit of Reggiano cheese sprinkled over it let me get it started Whoop. hot dogs in the frying pan Ooh, bear with me as you can tell we're all novices here because we don't know what we're doing and the, uh, the chopped or diced onion and garlic In a separate pan, we're kind of separating them because, because. But no, part of this <coughs> concoction will be made without the hot dogs. Because, as you know, if you've been watching, we got someone who doesn't eat meat. And how can you not like a hot dog? So many different ways. Grilled as a wiener, <coughs> Texas wiener, um, chopped up in this, beans and franks. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, this will be about two or three minutes. Okay, see how I got some of them burnt here? I like that, some of them burnt. There it is. <clears throat> They're done. Um, then you take the onion. Now, the, with cast iron, you got to be careful because once they start cooking, you want to turn the heat off because the cast iron holds the heat. And then I'm going to throw a little bit into another pan over here because, as I said earlier, and then, uh, let me forgot the Sorrento. We're going to add just the one. That should be enough to give it a hot heat. heat. And then we're going to add some Sorrento over here. These are Sorrentos I'm using. You can use the Italian long hots, any type of hot pepper you want to give it a little bit of a zing. And let me throw two more pieces in there. And then at this time, if they start cooking up, I'm going to add whoa, almost a catastrophe our sauce. And, you know what, being that I'm making two dishes here, I may need two dishes of sauce. And that's going to be too much. But anyways, and then we're going to cook this for around 15 minutes to let it get to a boil. Then I'm going to add the peas. And I think, I, I don't know if I had said it sooner, but when you're using... 
um, cast. <laughs> the battery died. Not my brain. I can't take credit for my brain dying. Here, let me see. As I, I was saying, I don't know if I said it earlier, when you're using cast iron, these babies get real hot, which I'm sure you know. So when you're sauteing garlic or onion, especially garlic, you can't. You got to be careful you don't burn it. So you want to cook a little, saute just a little less than normal, turn the heat up, and let the pan do the rest. Okay, this is what we got. This is what we got here. We got the sauce, man. Okay. Now, just add your peas. Got to get a little bit over here. And a little bit more in here. And a little bit more over there. And the rest in here. This way everybody got a little peas. We don't have to go chasing on the ground for them. Give them a little stir. That'll take it off a boil so you can even turn the heat back up just a tinge. But the peas, you don't want to cook them too long. And before you know it, five minutes, it'll be done. The no nothing cook, hope, hoping you enjoyed this. But before we finish, we have one more condiment to add. As I keep thinking along the road as I go. And you can even add this when it's done. Now, I don't salt this because of the hot dogs. There's no need to salt it. And plus you're adding a little bit of cheese. But you, you can also add the cheese off the heat. And that is it, my friends. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And don't be afraid to leave a comment or join or whatever, subscribe, whatever the words that these people use. And, um, oh, you know what? Not only does that look delicious, that's going to taste delicious. Let's give you a peek on it here. And we are out on that note. The finished product. We'll let you know how it tastes in a minute. <laughs> That's delicious. Dunking the bread in it. Going to be even better. Thank you for the view. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again. No nothing cooked saying good night and thank you.